morning. Welcome as we continue our Lenten devotions from Max Licato's on Calvary's Hill. Some years ago, a movie was released by Mel Gibson called The Passion of the Christ. It focused intently on the brutality of the Passion of our Lord. I remember in watching that movie with a group from our church, the emotion as it overcame me in that poignant moment where Jesus was brutalized by the soldiers as he was scourged. Well, our devotion for today focuses on that moment entitled, The Soldiers Wanted Jesus' Blood. From the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus was beaten with whips and handed over to the soldiers to be crucified. The governor's soldiers took Jesus into the governor's palace and they all gathered around him. Then the soldiers bowed before Jesus and made fun of him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on Jesus. Then they took his stick and began to beat him on the head. After they finished, the soldiers took off the robe, put on his old clothes, and they led him away to be crucified. Max writes, Soldiers, they wanted blood. So they scourged Jesus. The legionnaire's whip consisted of leather straps with lead balls on each end. His goal was singular. Beat the accused within an inch of his death and then stop. Thirty-nine lashes were allowed but seldom needed. A centurion monitored the prisoner's status. No doubt, Jesus was near death when his hands were untied and he slumped to the ground. The whipping was the first deed of the soldiers. The crucifixion was the third. We don't fault the soldiers for these two actions. After all, they were just following orders. But what's hard to understand is what they did in between. The soldier's assignment was simple. Take the Nazarene to the hill and kill him. But they had another idea. They wanted to have some fun first. Strong rested, armed soldiers, encircled and exhausted, nearly dead Galilean carpenter, and beat up on him. The scourging was commanded, the crucifixion was ordered, but who would draw pleasure out of spitting on a half-dead man? Spitting isn't intended to hurt the body, can't. Spitting is intended to degrade the soul, and it does. What were the soldiers doing? Were they not elevating themselves at the expense of another? They felt big by making Christ look small. Allow the spit of the soldiers to symbolize the filth in our hearts. And then observe what Jesus does with our filth. He carries it to the cross. Through the prophet, he said, I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Mingled with his blood and sweat was the essence of our sin. God could have deemed otherwise in God's plan, Jesus was offered wine for his throat. So why not a towel for his face? 
Simon carried the cross of Jesus, but he didn't mop the cheek of Jesus. Angels were a prayer away. Couldn't they have taken the spittle away? They could have, but Jesus never commanded them to. For some reason, the one who chose the nails also chose the saliva. Along with the spear and the sponge of man, he bore the spit of man. The sinless one took on the face of a sinner so that sinners could take on the face of a saint. Let us pray. O Lord, sinless one, is there no low to the level of wretchedness in our hearts? How is it that we draw pleasure from mocking and degrading others? Thank you for carrying the essence of my sin to the cross and nailing it there forever. In Jesus' name, amen. May you have a blessed and holy and humble day in our Lord.